Artists are reporters, important ones, who, like Emily Dickinson, tell it slant. For 35 years, artist space has encouraged experimentation and dialogue in contemporary culture. So think of us as a linguistic exhibition in three minute segments. <laughs> Not more, we promise. And a special thanks to our poetry mentor, Lucy Brock Roida, who's training a new group of poets right now as we speak. Who will read in reverse alphabetical order, so introduce yourself when you come up. And in the interest of your time, please hold applause or cat calls to the end. <laughs> and afterward, I hope her flight's not delayed, but um, Denise Banker from Copper Canyon Press intends to be here, and that's arguably the best poetry publisher in the nation by my book. Visual art, it seems, was secretly pushing me to poetry. My mother's wedding present was a Jasper Johns etching I wanted. It just happened to be in a poetry book. Only later in life would I be smitten by Wallace Stevens, the poet, and Helen Vindler, who wrote the introduction. As long as I've owned it, as long as we've owned it. <laughs> I've always hung this Johns close to my desk. When I started writing a novel, a terrible one, I might add, each morning I would put my hand in his uh -huh. to draw some creative powers, a ritual both comforting and terrifying. So the first poem I'm going to read was inspired by this print, which the O'Hara poem is here. It was a collaboration that they intended to do a series of, and then O'Hara died. So this was the, um, was the only one in the series. And um, the poem itself sort of takes literally the shape of the print as well. And I quote back from the Johns, and Johns who takes, um, as he often does, things from everyday life, and this, the, the markings of the print, the notes to the print. My skin print, hand pressed, ear pressed, face pressed, shadow pressed. Tolerances, except as noted by Jasper Johns. Approved by Frank O'Hara. Made in USA. Engineer skin with O'Hara point. Hand pushback. Ink pushback. Fingers pushback. Push back from paper. Push into glass. My hand touch his hand. Push. My side of paper. My side of glass my side of skin. Two of the readers in our group are what I refer to as my transgenre friends. Helen also <laughs> writes novels, and Desiree is stunning both as a visual artist and poet. Plus, she edits our poems with hilarious sketches. The book I'm working on now, I think, is at least a cross-dresser, a novelistic story told by poems. It's about a family in a small town in the South with odd associations with the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Just recently, I rolled out of bed to a piece of art I've been sleeping beside for at least a decade. And in the, it's a big piece about this big, and, and this is a, a copy of it in a book. And I suddenly saw it as a visual mirror of my story. My narrator and the children in this work by Annette Lemur are both struggling to make sense of what they cannot understand, which is not all that different and why the first pharaohs and then all Egyptians who could afford it commissioned a manual to navigate the afterlife. Um, many of my titles uh, do evoke spells, and the other poems will be from that manuscript. Spell for Not Playing Dead. I start first grade with a blue book bag, two fat pencils, and a rule, not to leave school with my father in a car. Mother says we can die if he's drinking. Mother says to scream, kick if we must, or play dead like the soldier on TV who fooled well. The unanswered letter. The suicide note, like my father sober, says little. We'll stay folded, I presume, in the dresser mother keeps bank papers and report cards. But the other note sent my freshman year hasn't found its place. Clauses between sweaters, parachutes from overdue books. His words flicker. So proud, so sorry I'm not, so bright you're. If I could look words in the eye, 
smell their breath? Must a word slurred be tainted, or is my doubt the shame? A letter never answered, but still read. The capital B sturdy, mark of his name. I crawl into the bottom loop and think of the word bridge. And I'll end with another short spell. For being any shape one may wish, my brother collects the dead sparrows that crash into the roof. He thinks the birds kill our shot at Yard of the Month. Ladies of the Garden Club inspect, drive slowly round town with a white proclamation of the trunk. Only the front yard man. to blot out his final shining self. And there was a shine, the butter, we thought, of the dead. Every morning, I forget what it is I'm meant to remember. I start small, knock knock. The world is still so cold and still. Who's there to tell this body what to do? Buried letter. February, and in my kitchen, half dead, Dusty moths hang dainty like aprons on the wall. Into the hot co closet, I return for a red onion. Surly purple hive, mine to sweeten, mine to drown in a bowl of water. Outside, the moon has gone valentine, gone scab, gone gumball. You must still be tired. I can't hear a word you've said. I have a net over spilling with onions. I have my choice of knives, and I want everything I see to be. I want to know why, in these mouthless months, are we made so small and rough? Um, snug helmet. How like a muscle it made me, inky and inward. People left messages every week, coaxing as if I were a house pet gone under the porch. Mm -hmm. My paintbrush was still working then. I stained all of my nights starless. By the time I realized you weren't coming back, I was waist deep and deviled and waiting for a god who looked like me to come paint my furious painted hand to sleep. Mother, you are a fine warrior. Though you have lost a breast, an arm, an eye, small birds, we pick seeds from your palm try to read your skies. They are bruised and suggest the bees we pray to. We sort pebbles, trade glass from the riverbed, white, green, blue, valued at whim. We send our own children out to sea to come back to us as the fish we once hunted, steelhead, barracuda, albacore. We wish for the turtle to burrow deep in soaked earth, the horse to strike geysers from pitted ground, carry us otherwise. The children come back. We make amulets, panther, whale, ptarmigan. Time and again, we believe we know what we want. The sea, its spots clothing broken derricks, pushes us inland to salt flats, where corn and desert bees lie buried, waiting for rain. We cannot hear our little heretic gods, do not know what is to come. Mother, carry us. Mm -hmm. 